If you want to know how you can automate the cross-posting of your YouTube content onto your other social media profiles, then stick around because I'm going to tell you in this video. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. They're so simple, these introductions, but I often do find myself falling over them. So apologies about that. <laughs> so this video is about one of my favorite topics, which is automation. I try and use automation whenever I can in anything that I'm doing on the Mac, whether it be for work or otherwise. And uh, so this is a great little way that you can use automation to actually cross post your videos onto your uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, whichever platforms you want. And uh, I should say uh, that if you have got multiple different social media platforms, it is obviously always good to try and uh, curate a uh, following on those platforms rather than uh, simply posting all of your videos there. However, if you are doing that already on the platforms, then uh, having some sort of automation to make sure your videos do go there automatically uh, is a great idea. So the software that we're going to use or rather the service that we're going to use because it's entirely web-based is something called Zapier. So I'll just go straight over to it now rather than waffling on and show you exactly what it is and what it can do. I use this extensively in my businesses. I have uh, other accounts that I do for that but I have actually set up a fresh account for uh, this particular channel uh, so that I can show you how you can use it for free to do some basic cross-posting of uh, your videos. So what is Zapier? Well basically it is an automation uh, service <laughs> and you can set up multiple different zaps as they call them uh, which are different automated processes and it can basically link in with all different kinds of applications and services that you can imagine. So if I just scroll down on their website which is if I get my little preview window out of the way that always seems to pop up at just the moment when I don't want it to <laughs> uh, we can go down and we can see uh, what it can do and the sorts of applications that it can link with. In fact if I just scroll down a little bit further because somewhere down here you'll find all of the apps that it works with so if I just pause on here for a moment and I'll just scroll through this app list what you'll see is it's got all of the major applications that you could possibly think with links with uh, things like Microsoft Office Google Docs uh, but then also external things Facebook pages and all sorts so anything that you can think about any application that you can think about uh, they're probably in here it has got a really good coverage incidentally this is somewhat similar to another service which you may have heard of called IFTTT which stands for if this then that and uh, yeah it does a very similar thing but this does seem for me personally to have slightly uh, deeper integration I was also an IFTTT <laughs> user for uh, over 10 years now whenever it first uh, launched I started using that but then I sort of migrated over to Zapier when I wanted to do some slightly more complex things but don't worry there's nothing complex about what we're going to do today <laughs> it's actually very easy to set up the cross posting I'm going to stop scrolling now as you can see I am keep scrolling on and on and on and the list of up integrations is endless everybody has some form of integration with uh, Zapier so what can it do well just underneath we've got a few examples so you can set up different things where basically you are linking these different applications or services together so here we've got Typeform which is a, a blog uh, blogging engine and we've got it linked to Google Sheets so it can collect Typeform responses and then add those as rows into a Google Sheet or this one here Facebook uh, linked with Go uh, Gmail so send an email when a new lead comes in on Facebook so anything that you can think that where normally you would do something manually think about the process think about the applications you use and often there's a way to just automate it with this is absolutely amazing I am going to make a much larger and deeper tutorial where I go into some of the more advanced features of Zapier and all of the different because you can actually have multi-stage uh, zaps which do a whole chain of things <laughs> but I won't complicate this particular demo at the moment I'll just go and show you how you can set up some simple cross posting because that's what I've done with this free demo account that I've set up uh, to uh, to show you so let me come into my account dashboard uh, basically if you want to link things the interface of it is pretty simple so here it says create a workflow know exactly what you want to build select the apps that you want to connect so I could sit, come in here for example and I could say uh, YouTube so I'd click on YouTube and then I want to send that to let's say Facebook so I could put in Facebook and there we go Facebook pages so it's already asking what I want to do what uh, is the trigger so uh, when I add a new video and then what do I want it to do 
I want it to, uh, I don't want it to create a page photo. I want it to create a page video. And then that has actually created it. Now you will have to go in when you do this, it will prompt you to set up your, uh, to actually link it with your YouTube channel and link it with your Facebook page and so on to give permissions to allow it to post and to allow it to see uh, your videos and so on. But that is as simple as that. That is how you set up these, uh, these little automations. Now, if I come down here, it will actually recommend, because I've put in YouTube and Facebook, it will recommend a whole series of sort of ready-made uh, actions that you can add in. Uh, now, I'll show you exactly what I have got set up in here. So if I come over to my uh, zaps, as I say, the little actions that you create are called zaps. So when this is loaded up, I've just got, by the way, uh, with the free, uh, free version of Zapier, you actually get uh, five zaps. So a maximum of five that you can set up. They can only be sort of single action zaps, so from one thing to another. And also the number of times that they can run in any given um, uh, in any given month is a total of a hundred of them. So here at the bottom we can see with the free plan you have mine has run 58 times out of a hundred, and the total number of zaps I've got is five. When you go onto the paid plans, then you can obviously have uh, more uh, more zaps. Uh, happening every month falling over my words again and also you can have a lot more zaps and in fact you can go to unlimited uh, number of zaps and and, uh, and tasks happening as well but if you just want simply to automate this process then you can probably get by with a free plan to be honest don't tell them I told you <laughs> and so what I have here is I've got five different things set up I've got this one which uh, creates a tweet from my new Instagram post. So when I post something on Instagram, it automatically takes that picture and posts it to uh, Instagram as a native picture. To be honest, I've been neglecting my Instagram a little bit. I did say at the beginning to uh, start curating your social media profiles, but I've been a bit lax on that myself, but uh, there you go. <laughs> but it will actually do that. It will take anything that I post to Instagram and repurpose it and put it out onto Twitter. Uh, then I've got the next one, which is when I post to my blog, on my website takeonetech.io I've also got a blog on there so you can go to the uh, blog up in the top menu and what that does is it actually posts that as a native post on Facebook as well so it, and then with a link back to the blog post uh, I've also got it so that when I post to my blog then it posts a link to that out to Twitter as well and then finally I've got two for my YouTube channel which are when I post a video to YouTube it sends them to Facebook but also sends them as a native post to uh, I say a native post it's not a native post it sends it as a post <laughs> with a clip of the title and then a link back to the video uh, on uh, YouTube so that is and those were all set up in that way that I showed you before where you simply add in the service where you want it to go from and where you, where you want it to go to and they usually just pop up these are things are so common that they're already sort of pre-populated and then you can go in and actually edit the uh, uh, the, uh, the the zap <laughs> and change some of the details like exactly what's going to happen with it and so on so that is a very brief look at Zapier and uh, as I say it's pretty easy to find your way around and to set things up so if it's something that you aren't doing already and you're only doing things on YouTube uh, or if you're already doing things on the other platforms but are doing the cross posting manually then definitely give Zapier a look and I'll leave a link to it down in the description. As always if you found this useful do me a favor go and hit that like button and also why don't you go and subscribe and turn on notifications at the same time so that you get notified whenever I make any new videos. And speaking of new videos, I've got plenty more content coming right up. So check out some of these and I'll catch you in another video. Have a great day.